Do you want to just like walk around up here? Hi. Hi, it's Pastor Goodman. It's the Drive to School podcast. We're in an airport right now. Uh, we're finishing up Higher Things Yearly Strategic Meeting, uh, but it's also the Drive to School podcast. So we're going to talk about the things that you're going to see in church on this uh, coming Sunday. And one of the things that I'm going to hear this Sunday in church is Jesus telling me not to be anxious, which I could use. He says, do not be anxious. And then he reminds me that whether the grass is anxious or not, it still gets thrown into a fire and burned. So I guess chill. It's not actually a, a great comfort to me that the grass still gets thrown into the fire Um, and I keep reading do not be anxious like it's law like there's just some off switch and if I just listen to Jesus better uh, I I would be a better Christian but do not be anxious isn't supposed to be law it's supposed to be gospel it's Jesus giving us good gifts and so when we hear do not be anxious it's not because we can just shut our brains off but it's because we have to focus on something else and so the real thing that I'm going to see in church this Sunday is the liturgy the, the liturgy is sort of this call and response that happens in church on a regular basis and it actually happens outside of my own fears and frustrations and anxieties, the stuff that ramps my heart up to 100 beats a minute. The liturgy, this thing that we're going to see in church on Sunday, it slows us down. It focuses us on God's promises because when you can't just shut your brain off, it's what you fill it with that addresses anxiety. And so when you cannot help but be anxious, We consider God's promises and the liturgy, it shows us this. It points us to the things that God promises, the things that God does, so that when we have all of these other things in our mind, they can be met with hope. So go to church, see the liturgy, read the Bible, receive the gifts. We out.